Hi, my name is Jessica and this is The Dollhouse. In today's video, I am going to unbox one of Shadow High's newest releases, Monique Verbena. Here she is in box. She is beautiful. Uh, she is uh, in a series of six dolls to be released. And this is the one I have currently. These dolls are different from the Series 1 release from Shadow High. And this box te technically does not say Series 2. It says Shadow High here. There is a metallic, like a reflective design of Monique's artwork. There's her name there. Her focus is here. She's a fashion focus. And on the back, here are, is another doll that's featured in this collection. So fashion does not have to follow the rules, and neither does Shadow High. Watch out, Rainbow High. We're coming for the runway. So maybe this is a runway release. Another thing that's different from the Series 1 release, the dolls came with additional outfits. This doll does not have additional outfits, but she does have three makeup brushes, a palette, lip gloss, a cell phone, and a cell phone case. She also comes with two hangers and a doll stand. And I know that because I read it here on the side of the box. <laughs> so let's get her out of this package and review all of her details. So here she is. You can see a lot of her details while she's still in her box. There's not much of a reflection. Uh, you can see the artwork that's in the back of her design, which is unique to this collection. And I really think it's adorable. It's beautiful. And I think Monique is looking pretty fierce there. And there are her accessories. She has her two hangers here, her comb, a piece of her doll stand. And I believe the base of that may be behind her underneath this plastic. So let's find out. So I have Monique out of her box, but before I show you her, I'm going to show you the accessories that she came with. I do like the packaging of the new Shadow High boxes. They do seem to contain a lot less plastic than the other dolls that we've received in the past. So she came with three plastic makeup brushes. She came with lip gloss pink lip gloss and the cap of that does come off so she comes with the makeup palette there's the front of the design there's that cupid head i believe it's inspired by another designer i'm not sure who and here is the inner contents of the makeup palette this reflects her makeup that she's wearing currently and it has this little mirror there she has two hangers and it they say shadow high so here is her cell phone that she comes with. It says Team Anti-Sparkle. And on the back there is her camera. And here is her case. The design is a dragon with stars. And that pops right on. And there's an area there that fits her thumb so she can hold that case. She also comes with her comb. So here is Monique verbena this doll is beautiful like beautiful i love her i'm so into the purple skin tone i love her hair this outfit i was playing with this doll for about 20 minutes before i started recording again because i love her she's pretty, she's pretty she's pretty she's so pretty so here is her face she has a purple skin tone and her eyeshadow is silver a glittery silver with a black liner her lashes are black and her inset eyes are a purple, soft pink, and a baby blue color. I'm not sure the tone of the, her eyebrows. I'll say they're like a deeper purple. And her lips are also a deeper purple. And they are glossy and you can see her teeth. She's smiling. Her hair, she has braids all the way through. And they are divided into two ponytails. She has painted purple baby hairs along her hairline. And there's a couple different shades of purple. Uh, she has two different shades of purple in here. She's got a tone of baby blue and some black mixed in her hair. And her braids are also twisted around each ponytail. There are two royal, bl royal blue braids along, or maybe four? 
maybe four, maybe four on each side, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But she's got some royal blue braids also along her hairline. So going into her accessories, I wanted to mention that I believe her design is inspired by the Verbena flower. And her last name is Verbena. Her name is Monique Verbena. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's cool. I'm rolling with it. She also has a dragon aesthetic. I believe her, dream, her dress is inspired by the flower. And she also has some dragon. I believe they're dragons um, in her jewelry, on her cell phone case, on her heels. So I'll go over that. And her earrings look like orchids to me, but they may be irises or maybe a, a species of urbana flower that I'm not aware of. But here are her earrings. To me, they look like orchids strung through a hoop. But they're my favorite earrings of any Shrinkville or Shadow High doll because orchids are my favorite flower. Her necklace here. Move her on. Her necklace here looks like two dragons like the heads of two dragons centered around or focusing on this stone here and it's all plastic but it looks really nice and detailed i'm really appreciating the accessories with this doll uh, she was purchased from amazon.com i believe for uh, around 27 dollars. i'm not sure if i mentioned that or not but i am not feeling robbed here so far i'm really enjoying the doll the accessories and the quality that i'm seeing in this doll this outfit has so many layers and it's really full. Here are Monique's gloves. They are a deep purple and in black there are decals that say SH for shadow high. And her nails are deep purple like her lip gloss. And they are long and that's following that theme we've noticed with shadow high and also with some of the rainbow high dolls now. She does have longer nails. And you can also see her belt accessory from this angle. And that belt, I think it's beautiful because the attention to detail that Rainbow High put into this belt. There's, this is not studded in jewels. But if, if you look at it with your naked eye, it seems to be because that studded area is painted with the iridescent paint that's not on the plastic base. So they t individually painted the stones to where they have that blue crystal appearance to where this looks studded in my opinion. And you can see all the layers in this dress. Like here's the top. She has that belt there. And then when you go down, we have another additional layer of layers. And if you go down, there's even more. And it's just beautiful. But here are her shoes. And they are heeled. That's like a bell-bottom heel. But there are those dragons again on the tip of that heel on that first stride. There are two dragons in that center stone that they're focusing on and we have an additional strap here that's studded in the back of her dress here you can see where that first ruffle continues around her shoulders and it secures here with a velcro, velcro strap and there is that beautiful dress it's so iridescent and lovely she's beautiful and i really cannot wait to complete this collection and give her her friends to chill with and be fabulous can you take this dress off the shoulders let me see so here is the dress off the shoulders which i think is adorable as well and it's just hanging out there i'm not having to force it down and here it is above the shoulders i think i like it better down because it looks a little clustered at the top with it up and it kind of messes with her earrings a little bit but either way, it's beautiful. And here is the area where her belt was. It's like a satin area, a satin strap or a belt-like area around her waist. So here's her articulation. She has the standard articulation of any rainbow high doll that we had. Like the head movement. Arms. She's got all that there. She's got wrist movement, elbow movement, reach she cannot turn at her waist, but she can bend at her waist. She's got that knee movement, no ankle articulation. Here is Monique. She is holding her cell phone. I love that it just clicks onto her thumb. It fits really well into her hand, and it's appealing. It looks visually appealing. 
I really do like this. I have I really enjoy this unboxing video and I love this collection. I look forward to collecting the rest of the dolls like this in the future. Uh, I was concerned when I heard that MGA would be discontinuing or removing the additional packages. But what I hear is that they're going to start re re um, releasing uh, fashion packs. Hopefully they're not like mystery fashion packs because I don't play with mystery fashion packs. Oh, I'm not going to say that because I might play with them. Um, but we'll see what they have in store for us in the future. I did enjoy the accessories like the cell phone and the little makeup brushes and things. I think that's cute and fun and adds to play and it'll add to my, um, materials and things in my school and in my dorm rooms. So I'm really excited for the rest of this collection and what we have in store in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my content if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. My name is Jessica. This is The Dollhouse, and I'll see you next time. Peace.